Hi, my name is Dylan Laird, and I'm a machine learning engineer here at Landing AI. And today I want to show you the latest version of Vision Agent. Um, now, there's a YouTuber I like to watch called Malibu Artist, and he uh, does these drone shots where he films sharks uh, swimming near surfers or paddle boarders. Um, so, this is one of his videos. You can see there's a shark here, uh, and it's swimming near some uh, paddle boarders. Um, now, what I might want to do is write a program to parse all of his videos and find um, scenes where the shark is getting near the um, paddle border. Uh, and one way I can do this is uh, pip install the latest version of Vision Agents. Um, and I'm going to ask it here to detect any paddle borders or sharks in the video and draw a green line uh, between the shark and the nearest paddle border. Um, I'm going to do this for visualization purposes, but you could also return maybe a list of dictionaries um, to parse later or use for some downstream application. Um, and I'm going to convert, I'm going to say 30 pixels to a meter. Uh, and if the shark is within 10 meters, let's make the line um, red. Uh, and then I'm going to sample that video at uh, 3 FPS and I'll output it in some file called output.mp4. So I'm going to make a vision agent uh, object here and I'm going to pass it the question along with the media file shark.mp4. Now what's going on here is um, we're going to ask vision agent that question and it's going to come up with a, a plan to solve that. It's going to use that plan to then um, pull in a list of tools that it finds, you know, it thinks it needs to, to solve this task. So in this case, these are vision-based tools that we've provided it with, such as um, grounding dyno uh, for object detection, um, or a function that finds the distance between two masks, um, or another function that extracts frames from a video. But you could also pass it your own custom tool if you wanted to. Maybe you have a special um, object detection tool for remote sensing data. Uh, now it'll use this, uh, these tools to generate a Python program to um, solve this task for you. Um, and that's really important because you never have to call Vision Agent again once you have the program. Um, and therefore you can execute it a lot faster, uh, more cheaply and efficiently, um, rather than doing this big agent call uh, you know, to GPT or some other large LLM. Um, once it's generated the code, it's then going to write some test code to verify that that code actually works. So in this case, it'll probably just execute the code and verify maybe that the file's there. Um, but for more complicated code, it might do some more complicated testing. Um, if that code fails, it'll then use that error to rewrite the code um, to fix the error case. Um, so, all right, cool. So it looks like here it didn't fail, so it got it the first try. Um, and it's written this function called process video. It takes in a video path, uh, an output path, and an FPS. Calls grounding dyno to detect paddle borders and sharks. Um, it looks like we're calculating some distance here, and then we're doing this line, and we're sort of switching the color based off of how close it is to the line. So let's see, we have this video now. Um, cool, and here we can see a green line, and uh, yep, switches to red when it's within um, 10 meters. Uh, so this is just like one example of what Vision Agent can do. It's still pretty early on, and there's a lot of stuff that it can't handle yet, um, but we hope that people will try it on different use cases and um, you know either help contribute to the project or bring up those use cases for us to try to fix um, to improve it later on. Um, if you're interested in that, please reach out uh, or join our Discord um, if you have any questions. Thanks.